Okay, so we're starting the video. I'm going to sit around here. Are you welcome, Big Justin? One, one spoon. One teaspoonful. We're not going to have very many lumpias if you do more than that. Okay, so here we go. Wrap it off the plastic. And you kind of take a look at where holes are or whatever. I take one scoop, one teaspoon, one heaping teaspoon of mixture. I put the wrapper over the top, pull it back so it's kind of tight, but I don't want to pull too tight right now. And then I fold it across. This is angled a little more narrow here than it is here. Throw some water on the edge here because that's going to seal it off. And very carefully, I tuck it as tight as I can without ripping it. And there we go. A little bit more water here because that doesn't want to stick. See, there we go. That's a nice one. And then I'll set it downwards so that I can really see it. Let's get another one. So I can see here there's a little rip right here. But I'm not going to worry too much about that at this point. So put a little bit of water down here just to get it started. Get my scoop in here, maybe a little bit. That wasn't that big of a scoop. Put this down over here and work it back so it's nice and tight, but with not too terribly much because it'll rip. And the last thing you want is for it to rip. Then you come across this way here, and then see this extra stuff here? It'll help um, make it nice and strong and seal it off. Boom, just like that. See? So the ends don't have any rips in it, and I mean there's a rip, but there's it's doubled up there, so it's okay. So now what I'll do is I'll take these little papers that I have, because I like to wrap them individually so that when they freeze, they don't get freezer burn. And I wrap it like this. And it's nice and tight, and I put it in my baggie. So now I have eight of them in here, so I can put fit one more in here. So. Grab my wrappers and carefully pull them off. If the wrappers you get are a little dry, simply take some water on your fingers and pat it around because the stuff will hydrate really fast. Okay. So let's take a nice heaping spoonful of your meat, your pork, your cabbage, pull it over. I see a rip right here, so I've got to be really careful and see. I don't know if you could see right here, it's ripping. That's okay. This is going to go over it. That's going to go over it. And then I'm just going to pull it back and make it as tight as I can without really pulling the skin of the wrapper. Okay? Oh, two of them came out, but let's see what I can do here. Okay, carefully, with whatever wraps you have, I think the egg roll ones are actually a little bit thicker. Nice heaping spoonful. Pull this over and work it back so that it kind of makes it into a roll. It's ripped right there, which it does quite often. But as you can see, it's sealed it off. So I'm going to carefully wrap it in there. The hole is down under there. I see a little hole there. So now I'm just going to wet this, and there you go. This one here has a little tear there, so I'm going to set it aside because we'll cook those tonight. That way if I end up giving anybody any lumpia, they won't have lumpia that has holes in it. 
right, here we go again. Nice spoonful. Over. Work it back so that it's a nice little uh, tunnel of mixture. Fold this over, over. It's narrower down here than here. And then you take that extra step. You put it there to support the wrap. You wet it, and then you wrap it over. Boom, just like that. See? 